guys happy Monday hope y'all had a good weekend um, we had a pretty good weekend we um, went yard selling and then on yesterday on Sunday I went out with my best friend and we went and did a little Christmas shopping had a nice breakfast together so it was just a real good time with her um, she has three boys so it's hard for her to ever get out and do anything Anyhow, I'm doing this video because it's going to go with our one for tomorrow's review, for our Tuesday review. Um, anyhow, tonight we are going to watch The Blair Witch from 1999. So you know what's probably the Tuesday review is going to be. We're going to go see The Blair Witch, the new one, which I'm so excited to do. But um, I heard it didn't have the best ratings, but I don't know. I like all scary movies, so I think it's going to be fine. We're not going to compare the two or anything like that. We're just watching it so we can get prepared for tomorrow for the new one. I'm not sure if they even really go hand to hand. I know they kind of do, I believe, but I don't think it's really you have to watch the first one to know what's going to happen to the second one. But I don't know anyone who's never watched The Blair Witch, but there's probably some people that have. But anyhow, I wanted to do this video today just so to let y'all know we're getting prepared to watch the Blair Witch tomorrow. But anyway, we are going in now to have dinner and to watch the Blair Witch from 1999. See y'all later. Blair Witch, 1999. Hey guys, happy Tuesday. Just hanging out with my baby puppies. And I'm so excited because we are going to go see the Blair Witch. Well, me and Jeremy. We're going to have a date night tonight. And we're going to go see the Blair Witch. I'm so super excited to go. So excited. Um, yeah, so excited. But anyhow, um, I'm kind of nervous just because of the reviews. But like the last movie we went to see, The Disappointments Room, it didn't have the best reviews. And we didn't listen to them. And we went and we really, really liked the movie. So we are glad that we went. But this time we are both really excited to go. And can't wait to go watch it like I said the first one scared me to death so hopefully this one will scare me to death too because we need another good scary movie we haven't had one in a long time so we will see you at the movies say bye bye babies bye bye see, see y'all later I just have to get them to see how crazy they are Hey guys, we just got home from the movie and it was very, very scary. Very scary movie. The whole time I just kept my feet in the seat and I was just like, kept my hands like this. It's a very scary movie, but it is a good movie. Um, I think it's better than the first one, to be honest with you. It's definitely scarier than the first one. Not the only thing about the movie that I didn't really care for was there was a lot of like movement. Like it's kind of like, like this a lot. And you couldn't really tell what was going on. But other than that, I mean, it wasn't bad. I mean, there's just some parts I was like, now what happened? And what's going on? But eventually you could figure out what's going on. But other than that, it was a very, very good movie. Very scary. Um, actually, I probably will give it, um, probably will give it four and a half stars. Um, definitely ah. scary. I give it a five. Uh, I'm not sure what um, Jeremy's going to give it, but we'll get his review here in a second. But one thing I did tell Jeremy, I said I'm going to take a stick and break it and whenever he's sleeping by his ear. And he's like, don't you dare. He was scared too because he had his hand on my leg in one part and he squeezed it real hard. So he was scared too. So anyhow, here is my his My take review. on the movie was it was pretty daggone scary. I jumped quite a bit. The only thing I, if I had to complain about something, which everybody always has to have something to complain about, the glitchiness of the movement of the top of the camera. 
and just you know, it, it kind of distorts it a little bit, and, you know, kind of lose focus. But that's supposed to be all natural people using the camera on their own. Uh, but that the glitchiness of the camera, but that really is it. I mean, I thought it was scary as crap. I thought it was awesome. I, I, I would definitely go to the movie theater and see it. I mean, I, it scared me. And I was, you know, I didn't like the dark. I swear I thought I'd seen stuff moving around in the uh, oh, movie too. theater and stuff yeah. throughout the movie. And it kind of just creeped me out. But, you know, I like to watch it a second time just to take another take on it or whatever. But the first first viewing or whatever, I, it, it scared the crap out of me. Mm -hmm. I, I was scared. I liked it. How many stars do you give it? I mean, for a horror movie, scary movie, I mean, that that's four and a half to five stars right there for me. Yeah. I mean, just for scariness alone. I mean, just on the edge of your seat, jumping, and I didn't scream out loud, but there was a few times I thought I was going to, but I didn't. <laughs> Me too. But I liked it. Highly recommend it. Well, that's it for our Tuesday review of The Blair Witch, and I'm so glad we went to the theater. I've been looking forward to seeing this movie ever since the first time I saw the preview in the movie theater. It was probably maybe last year whenever I saw the preview but anyhow if you go let me know if you liked it if you were scared if which one you like better the first or this one and there's actually a second Blair Witch too that I watched a long time ago and it really wasn't that great but anyhow you can watch that too and let me know but anyhow remember to subscribe to watch more of our reviews every Tuesday not sure what our we're going to be doing this next Tuesday but we'll be doing something um and watch our other videos of us when we went to Myrtle Beach and Kings Island. And hopefully we will get to Kings Island again because I think this weekend is whenever they start the um, Halloween haunt. So that's whenever it's the best time to go to Kings Island. So anyhow, remember to subscribe and I will talk to you later. Bye.